All right, we're coming together for a live event for a little live time on how to be not an asshole and other things I know nothing about. So we're here on Facebook and I'm also here on Instagram, just going to jam a little bit. You want to know the first thing that I said to myself when I came on camera was I looked at my picture and I was like, wow, I look like my mother. <laughs> and it wasn't like a good or a bad response. It was just like, I am looking more and more like my mother every day. Anyway, I thought this would be an interesting topic to cover because I think we are in a time, I feel we are in a time of human history where sensitivities are so high and there is so much that can be said that can be misinterpreted. There's so much that can be said that can be misconstrued. And there's so much that's being said right now that is a direct attack that is also very fiery, that is also, um, about getting under people's skin. And so we're seeing a lot of divides. I see a lot of divides in families right now, in friends right now. Hi, Ashley, it's good to see you. Hi, Jedi Alchemist, it's good to see you. Um, just say hi here, give me some hearts, let me know that you're watching live. It's good to always feel people um, when you're here. Hi, June, it's good to see you. Hi, Paolo, good to see you. Um, but I really wanted to come on and talk about how to be not an asshole from a, a non-dual perspective. So. Uh, this positioning of that everything is happening for just the right reasons at just the right time, even when shit is going crazy, right? So there's this point in, that we're at in human history that I'm finding that it is in our differences that we are going to discover all the nuggets, that it's in the places where we um, are actually in conflict with each other that lies all the jewels and all of the answers. And if we keep running from the difficult conversations, if we keep hiding from the things that scare us, if we keep running away from the political stance or the race stance or the socioeconomic stance or the spiritual stance or the dietary stance of life, like learning how to engage in these things in a loving way with metabona, with, with loving kindness, right? And this is like totally notes from a student in the field because I'm realizing there is this kink inside of me, guys. Gosh, if you haven't read the book Existential Kink by Dr. Carolyn, it's fantastic. It helps us get in touch with our shadow in a way that doesn't feel like such a shame. But I have this kink. I have this real desire in me to be right, to like have this righteousness. And it's part of my heritage and it's part of my family and it's part of the religion that I was brought up in, part of the Western culture that I was brought up in. I was brought in and up in an academia that really championed me when I was right, really lifted me up when I was right. And I felt super fucking righteous for most of my life. I, I felt like me being right was the most important thing that it somehow gave me self-worth or validity or, or a stance and something. I just want to let you guys know, like Reverend Brianna Lynn is no expert. I'm the furthest thing from an expert. I am a student on this path called life. And this idea that in order to share anything, in order to teach anything, in order to be of service, that we have to somehow be an expert, that we somehow have to have our shit together. I want to let you know this is how to be not an asshole because this is what I'm learning. Like the, the deepest core of, of myself that I'm learning in, in my shadow is this controller, is this one who, when she's scared, gets scary, as Brene Brown likes to say. <laughs> Does anyone else have that experience? Give me some love. Give me some answers. Like, you know what I'm talking about? When she's scared, she gets scary and really loves to like control and, 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 and contort and tighten. And it can be very intense for the people in my life. And I love the saying, it's gotten so much better, right? But I've, I've learned to really be with this part of me and not have her express all the time and not need to be in so much control. And there's still this edge at times, you know what I'm talking about, where I have to learn how to breathe deep into my belly because there's such a feeling of energy. There's such a feeling of life. There's such a feeling of Wah! that can just come out in any moment <laughs> because of what I've experienced in this lifetime and other lifetimes and this story that I carry. And so I'm learning how to breathe and be with the fire of what it has meant to be in this body, in this lifetime and the injustices and the beauty and the challenges and the frustrations while also no longer standing in my personality or ego as the point of reference for whether something is right or wrong, but really opening my frame, opening to the possibility that everything is happening, every stance, every idea is absolutely perfect, is absolutely what it's meant to be, and there's a treasure in everything and everyone that's here in this constellation.
because my judgmental mind wants to be like, oh, this person has got something, this person doesn't, this person has a gift, this person doesn't, and wants to qualify. Oh, I should be friends with this person and not with this person. I should connect. It. And it's like, no, Brianna, actually, everyone gets to wake up. Everyone gets to be a part of the team. Everyone gets to be included. You get to love everyone. <laughs> and it can sound so noble. I hear, I hear my own self sound so noble sometimes. It's like, I'm here to be of service. I'm here to love everyone. Have you ever tried to love everyone? <laughs> it's fucking hard, okay? It's really hard to not be an asshole sometimes. It's really hard to not want to cut people off. It's really hard to not want to put, put, just put people in their place, right? There's that righteousness in me that, rah, rah, rah. and I'm learning to get kinky with it, like really enjoy that very humanness that is myself too. I'm not going to run away from it and pretend I don't have this humanness because I think that's what separates us from the animal and then they'll come out sideways, right? Like, no, there's this animal in me that wants to fucking control. When she's scared, she gets scary. That just wants to like, Wah! and I'm just like taking her on and just being like, yeah, baby, like show me how much you can control. And I'm like, having to orga organize my essential oils. I almost said orgasm my essential oils because it literally almost got like an orgasm today. I let my controller <laughs> be oriented towards orgasming my essential oils and I did it intentionally and really called in this part of the shadow. And I think what I'm learning, again, notes from a student in the field, how to be not an asshole is to find a place where that shadow can actually come out and be free, actually come out and express herself, actually come out and be welcomed and not need to be brought into the light and not need to be healed or exercised, but like fucking focus that shadow on organizing my essential oils and like masturbating as hard as I fucking felt like it, like for myself. <laughs> Because there's this place in me that just wants to control and I like let myself get off on that. And it was fucking fantastic. I just let myself enjoy this like crazy controller, this, this one who needs to have it all right. Like I just embodied her and like let her ride, literally. I organized those essential oils so good as though I were organizing other people's lives and telling them what to do and they were listening to me because that's what I actually want to do. That's my actual kink. My deep kink is like, I like to subtly control people. <laughs> and, and it's more in my interpersonal relationships than anything. And to really step out of any little piece of mind that thinks that I can control how other people think of me how other people are going to respond to me, whether other people are going to like me or not like me, or if they're going to like this video, or if they're going to want to be my friend or a follower or a client or a student. <laughs> how to be not an asshole is to fully embrace all of myself and see that whatever comes out when it's genuinely in my body, genuinely in my heart, genuinely in my soul will be received by those who it's meant to be received by and not by those that it's not. And being an asshole, as long as I'm not repressing any of my shadow, is the only thing that I could call myself. A repressed shadow is what makes us an asshole. <laughs> Anything that we're repressing and holding back and then it comes out sideways. That's what makes us an asshole. When we're not learning how to embody our shadow, to love up our shadow, to integrate our shadow and have it come out in a good way, have it come out in a song, have it come out in a dance, have it come out in a moment on some crazy social media and just be like, I embodied my shadow and I let it have a place to live so that it doesn't come out sideways at you or my family or my students or my clients or my friends or my beloveds. Because anytime I've tried to meditate myself into the light too much, do you know what happens? My shadow comes up and stings me from behind. When we deny our shadow, it comes out sideways. When we deny our shadow, it comes out sideways. So how to be not an asshole is to understand that we are both light. Yes, we are beauty. We are divinity. We are purity. And we're also shadow. We're shit. We're in these human flesh puppets and we have weird desires and we have trauma from the past and we have ideas about what we are and what we should be. Wow. <sighs> How to be not an asshole is to live unrepressed, unoppressed by ourselves and to release all stories about human oppression and to eliminate all experiences of human oppression simultaneously. I feel good. That felt really good. Thanks for witnessing with me. Thank you for being with me in that. Um, 
leave me your comments on whatever media that you're on right now. I want to have this conversation of how to be not an asshole. You know, I'm really exploring this concept of dominion versus domination. You've heard me talk about this before. If you've tuned into any of my other videos, I know I have one up on Facebook. You can access it through my YouTube channel too on the circle versus the pyramid. The new, it's not even new. It's the oldest. It's the truest. It's nature's structure of interconnectivity. It's never a pyramid. It's never a small amount of people have all the power, have all the money, or have all the say. It's always about a symbiotic relationship and how we can organize our structures in our societies based on this natural form of interdependence and symbiotic leadership. Um, it's not about nobody leads. It's about everybody leads. And so, um, yeah, I'm writing a book right now called Dominion. And I'm really excited about it. It's been uh, an incredible journey just to get to a place where I can say I'm writing a book. Yeah, thank you for the hearts. It's a big deal to say it out loud too. Ah, I'm writing a book. Whoa. And it's uh, notes from a student in the field of, you know, I come from a domination background and my work is to learn how to be in the circle and to evoke the circle and to be in the circle with all of you and to invite more people into the circle and how to create circles everywhere I go. No pyramids only circles whenever I start to see those pyramids of the freaking we know who I'm just gonna be doing the circle let's remember ladies and gentlemen and soul siblings we are the circle the circle 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 we were born in the circle we we're born into the circle just remember that we were born from the circle we were born into the circle mm, we are born from the circle and we're born into the circle and the circle is what we are and the circle is what we be and the circle is how we be and the circle is all the things so share this if this moves you tag somebody in it if they need to learn how to be not an asshole no just kidding if this is just a conversation that somebody hey you need to learn how to be not an asshole watch this video just kidding uh tag somebody who wants to be a part of this conversation i love you all for being here thank you for tuning in with me bless 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 Love, love, love. Yee.